Hello there, Star Citizens. This will be my review of the Origins Jumpworks uh, 325A fighter craft. So far, I've really liked this ship. I mean, it's it's new to me to fly a dedicated fighter in this fashion, but it's a good ship. Um, it's got the standard Origin look, really sleek, really cool. Uh, you do get three size two la energy weapons the two side mounted laser turrets and then you get the front mass driver that you'll see in a minute on both sides you have two missiles that are size 2 excuse me um, overall I have found with this ship that you need to be a lot more close when you hit you hit like a truck I've seen this thing strip shields off of uh, pirates in the Persistent Universe in one shot, as opposed to my Avenger Titan would take seven or eight just to get the shields down to where I could do damage to the hull. Uh, when the missiles, when you do fire your missiles at it and they hit, they pretty much, if the shields are gone, they insta-kill a, a pirate ship or they will insta-kill a smaller pirate ship that still has its shields up. I mean, it's, it's an incredible amount of damage. Whether or not this classifies as a glass cannon, I can't speak to. Um, the cool thing about this ship, design-wise, you've got two doors that open kind of like the DeLorean, which I said in my last video. They allow entry from either side. Um, you do have to use a ladder to get in and out, obviously. And then you can go in, open the other door if you really feel like it, um, in this video I did make a mistake. I was opening this door and it takes me a minute to find the use button because for some reason it vanished really quick after I found it the first time. But you can open and exit on either side which is a cool feature I think. Um, I initially thought, and I did this without looking, I initially thought that you, the cockpit would open but I was incorrect. This is where your bed is in this ship so you do get the bed, <coughs> you do get the bed in the starter ship. Um, Again, you have to be careful when you're hitting the use button because sometimes you'll exit when you didn't mean to. Um, I have not found a way to close the doors from the inside without getting into the pilot seat, having the whole ship go through its startup process, and move on from there. Uh, if you do lay down on the bed, you at least get a view of the sky at night while you're sleeping. Assuming, of course, you've landed on a planet. So you have to close the bed to get into the passenger's or the driver's seat. And then once you go through the animation, it'll load up. Um, thoughts on this ship? It's a $70 entry point into the game if memory serves properly, U.S. And I got it during the anniversary sale with an upgrade for other ships. Um, if you're looking at Origin, this ship flies good. Uh, you will have no lack of maneuverability. You'll be able to do what you want to do. And then after after you learn how to maneuver, because if you're coming from an Avenger Titan or anything that's kind of bigger, it this handles much better. Um, it's not really designed to take a whole lot of hits, but as much as you can maneuver, you shouldn't be taking overly that many hits. Um, I haven't tried upgrading any of the, the weapons on it. This is the stock model. The reason for that is I don't have enough wreck to buy anything yet. Um, maybe when they put in the persistent universe that you can buy ship items with in-game money, I'll be able to do it that way. Um, but as stated, good ship. Well worth the money in my opinion. If you're only going to buy one ship right now, this is your entry-level fighter you can do it with the Mustang or the Aurora LNs or that sort of stuff. This one is a dedicated fighter. It's not got a whole lot of bells and whistles on it other than the two doors. But it's a good ship. I think after you fly it for a while, you will learn to love it. Um, but the main thing you've got to remember is that the size 2 turrets, the energy weapons, which are cool because you don't have to pay to restock them, the energy weapons will overheat and they will do it much faster than you would think they should um, so you have to be mindful of that you can't just spray and pray in this one uh, size one energy weapons never really had them overheat that much just because they're size ones 
and the coolant systems to be able to do it. So I may upgrade the cooling system, see if that increases the amount I can fire these guns. But like I said, once you get close and hit, you do a lot of damage. And uh, that's my review of the Origin Jump Works 325A. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave questions below. I'll do my best to answer them. And as always, keep flying in the verse, and we'll see you in there.